Welcome to the FanDuel Hurry Up. I'm your host today, Brian Fonseca, and today this post-NBA draft edition brought to you here on FanDuel. We're going to be talking about Donovan Mitchell and where he could end up this summer because he is one of the guys that is rumored to be on the move, potentially, this summer via trade. And first, we're going to go with the New York Knicks because there has been some smoke there. He has been at Ranger Games. He is the son of somebody who works with the New York Mets organization. He is from New York, and he is somebody who fits what they're trying to do, it seems. I just don't think it does timeline-wise. I don't think the Knicks should actually make this trade and just sort of leave the offseason as is. I think you need to do something else on top of this because the Eastern Conference is very loaded. But if you're going to make this trade, the Knicks do have a bunch of first-round picks. They added more on draft night, and they also have... A lot of young players that they could potentially include in this deal. Potentially Emmanuel quickly. Obi Toppin, though I'd want to keep him. He may need to be part of this. I think everyone except R.J. Barrett could be up for grabs here. Do not trade R.J. Barrett. You want to pair him up with Donovan Mitchell. And you want to make that the sort of foundation of something going forward. But again, you need to do something else on top of this if you're the Knicks. But you can make this move happen. You have the resources to do it. It's just going to take a lot of them. Next up. We're going to go with the San Antonio Spurs because the San Antonio Spurs, I feel like, should be trying to turn the corner here. The Western Conference is going to be very tough, but I think that if they were to add Donovan Mitchell to a backcourt that already has DeJounte Murray and not trade DeJounte Murray, I think that Greg Popovich has something to work with and compete with. Now, unfortunately, you will need to part with guys like Keldon Johnson, other first-round picks. The Spurs made a bunch (laughs) <laughs> in last night's draft. So maybe you want to part with a couple of those here. They have future first round picks, etc. So you can make something work here. But I think the Spurs will be wise to try to pair Donovan Mitchell up with DeJounte Murray and sort of go from there. They have a nice foundation and they could compete in the Western Conference from the standpoint of potentially getting back into the playoffs. Beyond that, we'll see. The Western Conference is tough, but I think this is worth it for them. And last, but certainly not least, the place where I think Donovan Mitchell fits the best and there's more of a missing piece here than anywhere else in the NBA, and that is the Miami Heat. They have the Tyler Hero, Duncan Robinson, multiple picks package, potentially an Omer Yurtsevin, maybe somebody else. They've, maybe you can throw in Max Drews here. I probably wouldn't want to if I'm also trading Tyler Hero and Duncan Robinson. you got to keep some sort of shooting here. But they need a shot creator, as we saw in the playoffs, more than anything else. You need somebody who Jimmy Butler can rely on in the playoffs, and I think everyone here can be dealt outside of Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo. The idea is to pair those three together, and then you can really solidify your contendership in the Eastern Conference. So Donovan Mitchell to the Miami Heat, that is something the Heat, uh, I'm sure, will be trying to make happen this summer, and we'll see if they can. Remember, bet with your chest, do it responsibly. That's all we have for today. Take care, and thank you for watching.